guys it's a for the camera so today I'm going to show you how how to play how to play games with the PS3 or controller and yeah before I get on the anything make sure you subscribe to the channel for more so what's the um this is the otg that i got the usb 2.0 macro macro usb and it has this see that you must have the same requirements see it even have the gaming controller for that so yeah make sure you get this otg because i got the first one that and it didn't work this is super joyous. Get. Get this app called. The C-Sexes Capability Checker. So your phone must be routed to play with the controller. So what you do, you tap start to this app checks if your phone is supportive uh, with the controller so right now slowly it's taking a long time so so it's downloading as you can see say your device appears to be supported to be sure you should try connecting your controller before continuing you must set it master address to so the, this guy is my PS3 controller. This I use the CS6 pair tool, but I don't use that. Um, yeah, so you can pay. You can even pay using this app. As you can see, when tap you, when it is just putting the Bluetooth IP of your controller. So what to do is you get your OTG wire connect to the phone so i'm going to have trouble with this because this phone's charging point has some problems with some certain input so what you have to do is open cx's controller so this is the cs6 controller app as you can see it's a little different but the same with that so to pay you need your P your PS3 charger let's see it's connected and yeah the wiring sorry for the wiring guys so as you can see so you this is the OTG input so I didn't get the wire version but I got this yeah so you put it like, like from you put it on this so like i said this phone has the charging charging point um issue so when you put it like this the controller was supposed to turn on like it's charging so when you put it like this and the end is charging you actually tap it as you tap it, the ip the ip of the controller will appear uh, the light man sorry about the light guys uh, it's daylight so I can't close that uh, so what you do is turn in your controller uh, as you tap pair on this so it auto paired for some reason you say pair you turn on your controller or oh, when it's on, when it's, it's doing like it's charging, uh, you said pair. See, right now it's saying, what the? It's saying no, no controller fan, please connect it via USB cable. It's talking about the, the OTG wire on Android. So yeah, so the controller is supposed to be doing like this. So after the pair, so after the pair is either is going to like start start on its own start on this its own or you have to tap it as you tap there. You 
it will auto connect if you see one light like let me turn that on if it shows one light it means it's connected so you need to remove this so you see that have one light and he's telling me the battery status of of the controller so yeah so you can pretty, pretty much work on this Look at it. need to remove the wires to show you that this is so this is wireless as you can see Thank you like a So yeah guys please sus subscribe to the channel I'm trying to reach like 1k 1k subscribers by the end of this year as you can see it's working it's working properly damn this is dark So yeah guys, the square is the jump. And this is for changing weapons. Let me This is for the camera. So this is for the changing weapons. And This is for the aim. This is for the shoot. And this is for how you get in a car you tap there. And yeah. Detail San Andreas will act like your own PC for real. Yo. Look at this. Look at it. But this is Android. I'm gonna do it there. See that? Come on, phone. It says R1 to zoom. So in Android, you know you can't zoom like this. This isn't, in, isn't impossible on Android. You can't see the map like this. Have the ocean around like this. But now it's in that's possible and yeah like i said thank you for watching